Hi, this is Mariah. Welcome to your Daily Mana, day 146. Today we're going to read Numbers chapter 29, all about the special feast of the Lord, the celebrations. On the seventh day of the seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work. It is a day for you to blow the trumpets, and you shall offer a burnt offering for a pleasing aroma to the Lord. One bull from the herd, one ram, seven lambs a year old, without blemish. Also, their grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil, three-tenths of an ephah for the bull, two-tenths for the ram, and one-tenth for each of the seven lambs, with one male goat for a sin offering, to make atonement for you. Besides, the burnt offering of the new moon, and its grain offering, and the regular burnt offering, and its grain offering, and the drink offering, according to the rule for them, for a pleasing aroma, a food offering to the Lord. Offerings for the Day of Atonement On the tenth day of the seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation, and afflict yourselves. In other words, they are to fast during this time. You shall do no work, but you shall offer a burnt offering to the Lord. A pleasing aroma, one bull from the herd, one ram, seven male lambs, a year old, see that they are without blemish. So no disease, no wounds, no lame or blind animals. On the grain offering shall be a fine flour mixed with oil, three tenths of an ephah for the bull, two tenths for the one ram, and a tenth for each of the seven lambs. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the sin offering of atonement, and the regular burnt offering and its grain offering, and the drink offerings. Offering for the Feast of Boots. On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work, and you shall keep a feast to the Lord seven days. So this is a long celebration. And you shall offer a burnt offering, a food offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Thirteen bulls from the herd, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old, they shall be without blemish, and their grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil. Three tenths of an ephah for each of the thirteen bulls, two tenths for each of the two rams, and a tenth for each of the fourteen lambs. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the second day, twelve bulls from the herd, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old, without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offerings, and its grain offerings and the drink offerings. On the third day, eleven bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings, for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also, one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering and its grain offering and its drink offering. On the fourth day, ten bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings, for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also, one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the fifth day, so we're going to go through every single day counting down to one. <laughs> Nine bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings, for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, and its grain offering and its drink offering. On the sixth day, eight bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offering for the bulls, 
for the rams and for the lambs in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering and its drink offering. On the seventh day, seven bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs, a year old, without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offering for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for sin offering, besides the regular burnt offerings, its grain offering and its drink offering. On the eighth day, you shall have a solemn assembly. You shall not do any ordinary work, but you shall offer a burnt offering, a food offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. One bull, one ram, seven male lambs a year old, without blemish. And the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bull, for the ram, and for the lambs in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering and its grain offering, and its drink offering. These you shall offer to the Lord at your appointed feast, in addition to your vow offerings and your free will offerings, for your burnt offerings and for your grain offerings, and for your drink offerings and for your peace offerings. So Moses told the people of Israel everything just as the Lord had commanded Moses. And that was our reading of Numbers chapter 29. And tomorrow we're going to read about men and vows. And also vows for women. But that's for tomorrow. For now, I just want to say thank you for listening. I hope you have a great day. God bless. Stay humble, true to the faith. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.